Yeah. The Earth Keeper Initiative is one federally funded project that truly makes a huge difference, getting big things done on a tight budget. By any measure, the Earth Keeper Clean Sweeps, pound for pound, are one of the most successful grassroots environmental projects ever funded by the U.S. government. The project has mobilized tens of thousands of people to protect the environment, despite being located in one of the remotest areas of the country, Michigan's pristine Upper Peninsula. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has provided grants for the Earthkeeper Initiative. It's a great way of bringing in uh, potentially you know, harmful things like the environment into a system where they can dispose of them properly. From EPA's perspective, this is an ideal approach to, for the community members, grassroots community members, in this case faith-based communities, earth keepers, to work with the federal government and others to achieve environmental gain. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tons of toxic waste have been removed from the environment thanks to the Earth Day clean sweeps, and the project is only three years old. The third annual Earth Keeper Clean Sweep in April 2007 saw about 2,000 northern Michigan residents bring in pharmaceuticals and personal care products. Many people also brought in drugs from family, friends, and neighbors. On Earth Day 2006, the second Earth Keeper Clean Sweep brought in over 320 tons of electronic waste, including old computers and cell phones. About 10,000 residents participated in the three-hour event at two dozen collection sites across the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, including Mackinac Island, where motorized vehicles are not allowed, and old-fashioned horses pulling drays were used to haul away modern-day computers that were no longer useful. The very first clean sweep in April 2005 netted about 45 tons of household hazardous waste, including poisons like insecticides, herbicides, drain cleaner, oil-based paint, and hundreds of vehicle batteries. Residents even turned in over two pounds of raw liquid mercury. All items collected during the three clean sweeps were either recycled or properly disposed. The project is sponsored by the Superior Watershed Partnership, the Cedar Tree Institute, nine faith traditions with 140 participating churches and temples, and the Keweenaw Bay Indian community. None of this would have been possible without a grant from the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Faith-based organizations are ideal uh, dissemination uh, programs. Uh, you've got willing people coming to church. They're there for a reason. You've got willing people listening to a message. They trust the message from their pastors or priests. And third, they, and finally, they look for action based upon that, that message. From the, the government's perspective, faith-based communities are a great dissemination program, a great distribution system, and a great way to achieve environmental gains with, uh, with others. In fact, organizers Carl Lindquist and Reverend John Magnuson got the Earthkeeper Initiative off the ground thanks to an EPA environmental justice grant. The first clean sweep was funded by a portion of a $15,000 environmental justice grant. The EPA grant was awarded to the Cedar Tree Institute and the Superior Watershed Partnership. In fact, all three clean sweeps have been funded in part by an EPA grant. Carl Lindquist is director of the Superior Watershed Partnership, and Reverend John Magnuson is director of the Cedar Tree Institute. After securing the EPA grant, Lindquist started working on the vast logistics of the clean sweeps, while Reverend Magnuson visited the bishops and other faith leaders of all nine faith traditions. They are Catholic, Episcopal, Lutheran, Presbyterian, United Methodist Church, Unitarian Universalist, Baha'i, Jewish, and Zen Buddhist. EPA official John Paraconi of the Midwest Region Office, located in Chicago, visited several collection sites during the pharmaceutical clean sweep. Well, Earth Keepers, from EPA's perspective, when we first saw the uh, Superior Watershed Partnership come to us for a grant request, we recognized right away that this was an, uh, an ideal way to get the word out for environmental protection. This group came to us uh, for the, the EPA program for grants. They came to us and we saw right away they were number one organized, number two they were they had identified their environmental issues in the community, number three had a real strategic plan to get rid of those to, to solve that environmental problem. 
Perricone was impressed with the 400 volunteers, many of whom were mobilized through the power of the pulpit, as religious leaders across northern Michigan strongly encouraged their congregations to volunteer or participate in the clean sweeps. Perricone said the EPA believes hazardous waste collections are an important tool in protecting the environment. The U.S. EPA is vital to the success of the EarthKeeper initiative. In Part 3, we'll look at another major donor, Thrivent Financial, a not-for-profit financial services membership organization and fraternal benefits society. This is Greg Peterson, and you're watching EarthKeeper TV.